Wickersoft is excited to introduce OnePlan for Microsoft Project Online. OnePlan adds simplified, top-down, strategic, and portfolio planning to the strong PPM execution features already built into Project Online. OnePlan enhances and extends the capabilities for resource planning, resource scheduling, financial planning, and portfolio visibility and analysis across the enterprise. Let's take a look. Project Online already offers a project center for central visibility and access to all projects. Project has always offered strong scheduling and bottoms-up resource allocation, in addition to the content and collaboration available in its SharePoint project-based sites. Built on this strong foundation, OnePlan adds the following, embedded right into the Project Online experience. If we drill in like we normally would into the social networking integration project, we come to the project detail pages and one of the common pages we go to is a shared schedule where visibility and one source of the truth for the schedule and the resource allocations for the project would exist. Now, by adding one plan into the mix, a variety of features and tools are made available within Project Online right within the Project Online user experience. Here, within the project detail page, one plan is rendered and we can do things like resource capacity planning. Resource plans are a way to provide top-down resource capacity planning with the ease of using a spreadsheet. By entering values into the grid, uh, we provide the ability to enter values in the grid by hours, FTEs, or percentages. We can either see heat maps with uh, uh, overage uh, or over allocations, and we can also choose a planning horizon and in the increments that make the most sense, whether it be monthly, quarterly, annually, etc. This simple method allows for capacity planning at any stage of the project lifecycle. You can also access a more global view to see capacity planning across all aspects or all projects within the enterprise. And you can see them right here. And if I was looking at someone like Daniel Williams, I could see all the projects he's on and the aggregation of all the project allocations or capacity planning that is done for him throughout the solution. To that, we also can add financial planning. Here in the financial plan of one plan, we can actually uh, do a lot of flexible, detailed cost planning and tracking within the solution. We have the ability to do cost categories, which allow us to track whatever level of categories and detail that we like. We have cost types, meaning we can track the budget, we can track forecasts, we can track actuals, we can even track benefits for benefits realization. And it's user definable if these uh, need to be added to or changed for your own individual needs. Also, we can also have flexible cost uh, uh, horizons, meaning if we want to plan over a certain period of time, whether we want to plan in terms of months, uh, quarters, uh, annually, whatever it might be, we can plan in these different increments. We can also handle multiple currencies, whether it be US dollars or other currencies that you'd like to have uh, conversions for. Also, these financials can also be fed from the resource plans we discussed earlier so that the financials around labor could come from the financial plans that we put in here earlier on. And we can also compare the um, cost types so that we can have uh, comparisons and heat maps of whether or not, for example, our forecast or our actuals are running ahead or behind of our budgets as we go on through. We also have the ability to do resource scheduling. And in that resource scheduling, uh, uh, as opposed to the capacity planning and the resource plans we did earlier on, uh, this leverages the Project Online resource pool and allows us to allocate resources to these specific projects. In this case, notice I've got a combination of generic and named individual resources here. Uh, I can look at a, a varying timeline. I'm currently choosing to look at this in terms of months. Uh, and I can also look at these engagements like we have in Project Online and look and see that a project manager at a very high level, long before we have a schedule, we can say is needed to manage the project from May and through sometime in early August. Now, if we expand that project manager and see that, ultimately this serves as a project request where we can then add a project manager to this project and allocate graphically by dragging and dropping this allocation to that project manager and thereby fulfilling the ability to get a named individual on here. Now, by doing so, we can actually see within this project with heat map whether or not people are over or under allocated, but we can also show whether or not across all work across the entire enterprise, whether or not this would over allocate this resource and show all the different things that they're involved in. 
We have color coding to show things that are currently in work versus things that are currently upcoming for work or things that have been completed for work so we can get a good visual on all of that as we see. And all the scheduling that's done here syncs automatically with the resource engagements capability in Project Online. We can also see the resource schedule across all projects. So instead of just looking at it in a project specific way, I can look here in a central resource pool and see that Adam Nishimori is on at least four different projects that he's uh, working on. And we can focus our, uh, our view on here by grouping or filtering this information based upon role, based upon department, or however else we'd like to look at this uh, as we go on through our, our planning and analysis. Now, from a uh, portfolio perspective, uh, we can look in and one plan portfolio was previously introduced uh, to simplify portfolio planning and statusing uh, for Project Online. It provided for sim simple data visualization. So with portfolio information that was entered in Project Online, leveraging the capabilities of one portfolio and the SharePoint basis for that, we were able to look at individual portfolios, get common visibility, and even to use more of a data sheet type of capability so we can have spreadsheet update uh, very quickly and uh, more readily update the information that we need for our portfolio management and tracking. Now, if I drill into this cut cost portfolio and go in and look at this in more detail, you can see that this capability where we would actually generate business case information and other information around these portfolio items or these portfolios, we've now also provided the ability to have the same uh, one plan capabilities for resource planning, financials, and resource scheduling built right into this simplified view uh, in Project Online for all that capability. So now there's also a portfolio analyzer that can take all of this information and do additional things that we go, uh, that we would often want to do in our portfolio planning and tracking and prioritization uh, across the board. In this, the portfolio analyzer allows us to view the portfolio in a variety of ways. For portfolio level planning, we could have this grouped and summarized with timelines and roadmaps uh, across uh, different portfolios uh, uh, throughout the organization. But we can also look at this from a financial perspective. And the financial uh, analyzer allows us to take the portfolio items and look in a split screen at the financial implications of that. And also with the financial implications, be able to drag and drop pivot table like capabilities so we can do very flexible analysis and on-demand analysis based upon the needs or of the user at that particular time. Also, we have just an overall portfolio analyzer so that we can come in here and look and it also contains uh, some uh, pivot capabilities. So the data that we see in the plan and what we want to analyze can be just either planned information, actual information, benefits information, whatever we'd like to see across the board. And then also there's a roadmap capability where we can take a look at the individual portfolios, look at this from a timeline perspective, and zoom out and look at it in different ways. If I want to look at a quarterly view and get a bigger horizon, I can do that and do some very easy portfolio analysis. Now what's really nice, uh, even though uh, Project Online has its own portfolio analysis capability with more of the advanced pairwise comparison capabilities, uh, we can do prioritization here with more simplified drag and drop and ranking of projects. We can have fields of data that has forced rankings or scoring in here, but we can also take this and go into prioritization. And by doing so, we can take our, pro our portfolio and we can actually then take this and we can actually drag and drop our portfolio items to give them an order or a ranking, uh, much like we see in uh, the uh, agile capabilities that people have today and be able to then rank and uh, change the order in which we'll work these projects as we go on through. Also, with, as with any Wickersoft offerings, we have robust reporting available via report packs and Power BI. A few examples that we have uh, can be shown right here. For example, when we talked about doing all that detailed cost information, I have some strategic level information with the strategic uh, theme um, um, breakout of costs where I can see by each strategic theme or strategy that we have, what the total budget, total forecast, and total actual costs, and looking at not only budget, but also looking at the return on investments or the benefits that we expect to get. We also have budgets, and in these budgets, we can look at more detailed budget uh, reporting, look at what the top 10 uh, dollar users are or consumers are of the projects that we have, 
and look at proposed budgets in total versus the active budget total and use filtering capabilities to look at them by things like business unit, state, and expense type. We also have a quarterly analysis if we want to get breakouts on these projects in a time phase basis and summaries by CapEx and OpEx. We also have a financial summary where we can look at this information and look at these portfolios by the project by project basis in total or even focus on individual projects or even multiple projects to look at the uh, implications of uh, what the costs are uh, for those uh, selections within the report. We also have budget details. So if we're in the budget details, we can come in here and take a look at the uh, uh, total budget versus the, the labor categories of, of, of costs and other things like that. And also because we're doing resource capacity planning, our resource plan information can be presented to us in reports for people that are hands-on with the tool transactionally entering and maintaining data within it. In summary, one plan strengthens the standard project online offering by adding a variety of strategic top-down planning capabilities. It also brings ease of use enhancements for portfolio, resource, and financial planning. Contact Wickersoft for more details and see how you can uh, uh, try the experience for yourself.